What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Tad Collector coming at you again with another video. And tonight, we got a problem. My PS3 won't eject discs. So we're going to dive down, get inside of it, take a look and find out what's going on with it. You ready? Let's go! Okay, folks, there, so there are some things you're going to need in order to take your PlayStation 3 apart. Now, I've got the 160 gig uh, slim model here, and the few tools that you're going to need is you're going to need a, uh, let me get that to focus, a medium size to small size flathead. The reason I say medium size to small size is because you're going to need something a little bit smaller like this. See the difference there? Okay. And you're going to need a standard Phillips head screwdriver. All right, so once you uh, have your PlayStation 3 unplugged, um, you're gonna wanna take it to a, a surface where you can work on it and flip it upside down. Now this is the side where the disk drive is. And on this side, now I've already taken the liberty of removing them, but you're going to find four security screws in the corner here. One, right here in the middle, two, right here, three, and over here in the corner, four. Now that's where this screwdriver right here comes in. Now if you have a security bit screwdriver, by all means, go ahead and use that. I do not, so I always use this one and it works just fine. Uh, you're able to get that flat head in between um, those ridges and remove that screw. Once you have those four screws removed, then you're going to want to start turning your console sideways. You will then see tabs like this right here. When you see these tabs, that's where this little small flat head comes in into play. Just wedge that in there and lift up and take those tabs off. Um, you're going to have a tab here. There's also going to be a screw underneath these pads. So you're going to lift this pad up. That comes right off. Then you've got one here. Excuse the train in the background. It never fails. Every single time I start to record video, there's some sort of noise in the background, whether it be my dog or train or something. All right, so we've got another tab here. We're gonna go ahead and pop that up. And you're gonna to wanna to pop this foot pad up. And you've got a tab right here in the middle. Now the only foot pad that you will not take off is this one right here in the corner. There's nothing under here. Now you can also see where I've taken this section off. If you ever get to the point where your disc won't eject, um, there is a tab that is removable here. You'll have a small hole here and if you take a screwdriver about this size, shove it down into that hole, there's a little wedge slot where you can then start to turn this counterclockwise and your disc will manually eject. So this is your manual eject access slot right here. Now this blue Phillips head screw that you see here, when that is removed, that allows you to remove your hard drive. Um, so we're not going to be removing the hard drive, but if you ever wondered how to remove your hard drive, it's you just uh, undo that screw right there and then this right here is your hard drive and it just slides right out 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse while I remove all these screws. Okay, once you have all the screws removed, you're then going to want to flip your console upright and start to just pop the top off. And it just pops off just like so. All right. Now there are a couple of different hard drives, or excuse me, not hard drives, but um, disk drives that were installed into the PlayStation 3. Um, we're going to be doing this the easy way. There is a little bit uh, more difficult way in order to gain access to the disk drive and that's by removing your power bank here. Um, in order to remove the power bank there is um, a screw here and another screw on the other side over here and you just take those, uh, remove those screws Remove the cable here. Also, remove the cable here. And the power bank just pops right out. But, I don't want to do all that. So, we're just going to focus on the disk drive. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and remove this top screw here. So I removed this screw right here and it's going to look rather small and flat. See that? There it is. Alright. And then there is a screw right here. There's also one on the other side in here. This is where you're going to need another smaller um, Phillips head. I did not mention that in the beginning of the video. My apologies. You are going to need a smaller Phillips head. Or you can use one of those small flat heads. All right. I'm out of there. Once you have those three screws removed, you can turn the PlayStation to face you again. So, in order to pop this metal off, here on the side, you've got this tab. On the other side, you've got a tab that looks exactly like this. These, are going, these tabs are going to have to be pulled out and then slide up. Put the finger in there. Get a screwdriver and where's that in there? Thing in there. There we go. Come out. There we go. All right. So we've got the top removed. Now once again, you're going to have this tab here and tab on the other side, where you're going to have to get something in between your fingernail or something and pry that out a little bit to pop that up. Alright, so then we have access to the inside of the drive here. Alright, so in order to remove this part, before you remove this part, uh, the first thing you're going to do is remove your center hub here. That pops out just like so and don't forget to put this back once you assemble it everything or your disc will not read all right also before we remove this top piece we're going to make sure that these arms are not obstructed these arms are going to want to move freely such as so so these arms are moving freely just like that all right 
Now, up here at the top, right up here, you got, you've got two tabs. If you pull those tabs to the side, just like that, then this piece should remove after we remove these two screws. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. It's okay though. All right, so you're gonna have a screw right here and also one over here. They're gonna be small, tiny little screws. All right, now this piece should come right up. Now we have the internal mechanism. Now this would be a good time to go ahead and very lightly clean the laser lens. And um, I've already done mine hmm, not too long ago, so I'm not going to do it again. Right here is your laser lens. This little diode right here. Let me see if I can... Bring that up right here. That's your laser lens. Um, all you're going to want to do is take a Q-tip with a little dab of alcohol, rub it back and forth, and uh, that should get any of the dust off. Now, while you are inside your disk drive here, one of the main things you're going to want to check is to see if the laser moves freely. So, in order to do that, all you're going to do is Grab this tab right here, one of these two tabs, and just move it back and forth. All right, so it moves freely. That's good. And the reason why my discs aren't ejecting could be one of two things. Now, if you notice, whenever you go to um, clean your PlayStation 3, you're going to remove this, this top. As you can see, mine's clean because I, I have cleaned it not long ago. Um, but right here, you've got a ridge. Now, a lot of times what happens is that when you disassemble this and put it back together, that ridge sits directly on top of this metal piece um, that covers your disk drive. This metal piece is very, very flimsy. Uh, meaning it's, it doesn't have a lot of sturdy rigidness to it. Um, so a lot of times what can happen is that when you go to put the top back on um, and you're putting a little bit of pressure on that top when you go to screw your screws back in, that ridge that you see right there is resting on top of that and what can happen is that you can actually put an indentation into this piece of metal and when it has that indentation it's not going to sit flush on uh, on top of your disk drive here when it's bent in it can cause this rocker right here to um, push in as well and then you're going to have problems with your laser moving freely that could be an issue. It could be something as simple as this being bent. Well, I don't see where this is bent, so what I'm thinking is that maybe I just didn't clean all the dust out of it. And it might have had um, a piece of dust lodged in there, or maybe a strand of hair or something from the last time that I cleaned it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my duster, give it a once over, and um, we'll see if that doesn't fix the issue. All right, so I've got my electronics duster here. This says, do not shake up here at the top. So please, folks, do not shake it. Now I'm holding this pretty far back. I'm not going to get up here really close to that laser because I don't want to do any damage to it.
All right. Another reason that uh, the disc may not be uh, ejecting is this arm right here. This arm right here could have had a piece of dust or something lodged right here in this um, in this slot right here. I don't know if you can see that, see that slot. All right. If that arm cannot move freely like this, then you're going to have ejection problems. And it looks good. Also. That arm is held together by a spring where the piece of that spring actually comes all the way down here, right here, and into this slot right here. Now I have seen people end up with this spring um, completely bent and dislodged and they've actually taken a spring out of a Bic cigarette lighter and bent it to where it would work again because if anything happens to this spring it's not like you can just go online and, and order it very easily you know you'll have to actually dig and search to actually find that it's not an easily ordered part so be careful that you don't do any damage to that spring or you're always going to have ejection issues all right then you want to make sure that your gear here isn't obstructed that there's it that is clean and that this arm right here moves freely back and forth as well everything looks good so I'm going to assemble everything um, I'm not going to fully assemble it I'm still going to leave some of it taken apart so that that way I know that it's still you know that we can test it make sure it ejects that way I don't have to take it apart all back over again all right, so first thing I'm gonna do is put this back on. Okay, I've got it plugged in, and as you can see, it's got red power. All right, so I just grabbed a disc off the shelf. We're gonna pop it out. And see if it will eject. All right, immediately, what did I notice? There was a grinding sound, and why? Because I forgot to do exactly what I told y'all not to forget to do. Put this piece back on. And we're going to drop this back in there. Just like that. Alright. Now, I guess we could just go ahead and test it. So let's plug this back in. And see if it's going to eject. Alright.
Fantastic. All right. All right. So what I'm thinking it was, it just needed to be dusted out. So we're going to test it again, make sure to taste the disc. Spin it freely. And ejecting. Beautiful. All right. So there you have it, folks. I'm going to get this put back together and we're going to wrap this up. Okay, so now that we got it all put back together, I'm going to test it one more time to make sure that it's not hanging up on anything. All right. Quiet. All right. Fantastic. All right. Now it's ejecting. Well, there you have it, folks. Let's take it back to FaceTime. All right, folks. So there you have it. We dove down inside the PS3, opened it up, took a look at it, and figured out what was wrong with it. Next time you have your PS3 open, be sure to go ahead and give it a thorough cleaning, knocking out all that dust. That way, your PS3 doesn't overheat. All right, I've got links down in the description to my eBay, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, all that good stuff. If you need to reach me, hit me up on Instagram or my Facebook page. I'm also leaving a link down in the description to my collaboration video that I did with Chase After the Right Price and Rain Bean himself. We go over our top five most favorite Wii video games. That was a fantastic, fantastic good time. All right, if you enjoy the content, please leave a thumbs up on the video. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting on? And while you're at it, hit the little bell icon. Hitting that bell icon will notify you every single time I upload new content. All right, folks, this is your boy Tata Collector. I can't wait for this season to kick off. It's already kicked off in a great, fantastic way. I'm out there scoring some good stuff. I can't wait to see what the rest of the season brings. All right, so once again, I'm Tatted Calendar, and have a good one.